Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be shooting a product video for one of our clients. So we're gonna kind of walk you through that process, but also we're gonna set up a studio in our office. Our office is not that big, so we're going to make the most of it and also show you guys how you can set up a video studio in really any environment. You just need a couple things. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So let's get to it. I promise I was listening. What's, what's the first stop, boys? Try to keep telling them. So... I can't talk and drive. Did you tell them the, what video we're making? I don't know. Maybe. Just tell them again. This audio might be <laughs> Yeah, yeah <laughs> we're, 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 we're making a product video, basically. And so we're making our way to the client's house, and he's going to give us some of the product to shoot. So that's stop number one. Did you bring your bucket? Bingo! <laughs> no. Package secured. Johnny, that's not your dog. So we got the insoles. Now we're heading off to Home Depot. Why do we have to go to Home Depot if we go if we have your bucket? It's not like Hermione's handbag where it just got like everything in it and you just like pull out endless stuff. I know you guys ask a lot of me, but this is really going too far. Did <laughs> you just like cut the video real quick? All right, so Isaac was wrong. We're not going to Home Depot. That's like really far away, and all we need is a piece of string. So we're just going to Ace Hardware. <laughs> we have to be the gentleman. Go all the way down aisle Okay, so we just got back to the office and we're gonna set up um, our little studio setup. All right. So this is what we got so far. The name of the game here is soft light. So we're trying to do as soft as we can go, like as soft light as we can go with what we have. It's getting there, but I think there's some more work to be done. So I think we're just gonna keep grinding at it and see if we can get anything to look better. Making a change. So I don't know if you can see this, but the insole is swaying back and forth and we don't really want that. Um, so we're because it's only anchored from the top up here So what we're doing is we're anchoring it from the bottom as well and hopefully that will get rid of the swaying back and forth Sweet, so we kind of got set up um, We're just gonna go ahead and start shooting some stuff So we just got some shots and we kind of realized that having it taped in the back like this really isn't the move uh, just because we want to be able to see the whole thing. But obviously if this, you know, the back comes towards the camera, obviously there's a bunch of gaff tape back here. So we're going to try and poke some needles through the cork because they're cork insoles and have the fishing wire going to there and see if we can, that'll give us the freedom to uh, spin around the whole thing. Like I said, we're winging this. I feel like I'm doing a surgery right now. It's just the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> That's it, right? That's it. Okay. Give me some fishing wire. <laughs> Okay, so we finished setting up the lighting and we've started shooting. We've encountered a lot of different issues. Essentially, the fishing wire is garbage. So the only reason we went to the store is kind of uh, for nothing at this point. So that's cool. 
We uh, figured out a workaround by attaching the insole to a C stand and a C stand uh, pole thing and clamping it down. And then we have Patrick on the pole, giving a little nice natural uh, rotation to it. <laughs> yeah, just. So it's a little bit of a cluster in here right now. It's super uh, crowded in this tight space. But essentially the, uh, the point is that you can turn really any environment into a studio. Um, this area is not, it's maybe like 12 feet wide, something like that. Um, and yeah, I mean, we have like a lot of lights and stuff like that, but really all you need is some type of like paper backdrop. We have Savage Seamless, which is great and they're pretty uh, low cost, reasonably priced. Because this is like a small product, we don't need that much space, um, which definitely helps. It would be a lot more difficult if we were doing like a full size, like like a person or something like that, shooting with, uh, you know, six feet by five feet or whatever we need for that. So we just basically have it against our conference table, uh, rested on that, is all part of a Savage seamless kit. Um, I can try and link that in the description. And it makes it super easy to turn really any environment into almost like a miniature psych wall or an infinity wall or something like that. Um, and then, this is probably the most important light right here. This gives nice overhead light and it kind of gives like soft shadows, soft diffusion all around. Uh, we just have a 120 D Mark II and then a uh, light dome full size Mark II, I believe. Um, and then all the other lights and everything else is kind of just like added stuff to give just a little bit more even light, um, softer light and also just to like light the product a little bit better. So we have this is kind of, it's sort of acting as our key light. I don't, I would almost call this a key light, but um, this is just acting as a light from another angle. So we just have a 300 D Mark II, and then uh, I think it's at like 100%, and it's uh, going through this 40 by uh, silk that's just kind of giving some more diffusion to that. And then we also have a bounce over on the left of the backdrop that's again, just kind of giving some bounce light from the 300 D and really just giving that overall soft diffused light on, on all ends of it. So yeah, that's kind of the lighting setup, the gist of it at least. As you've seen, this has like really been a roller coaster and a learning experience for all of us. We've like done studio stuff before and product stuff, but uh, we kind of wanted to try something new by like trying to suspend the, uh, the insoles with fishing wire and all that stuff. Uh, shout out Austin Paul. Uh, he makes it look a lot easier than it is. So yeah, I'm like really happy with how it's been turning out so far. We still have one more product to shoot. Um, it'll be a lot of similar stuff basically. So this is day two on the shoot. Came into the office and Patrick was just working away. He is wired in. AirPods in, nothing can get in his way. So we're on day two of this little studio shoot now. Um, we're not doing any more like suspended stuff. Now we're basically just doing tabletop stuff, um, showing the different arches of the insoles and um, just kind of like some more traditional studio stuff. Um, so Patrick is just finishing up on that. And then we're gonna wrap the shoot for this, get onto the edit. We uh, went into this not really knowing what we we're doing. And I think we've all kind of like learned a little bit along the way. And so I hope you guys have learned something as well. Thank you as always for watching. If you like this content, feel free to drop a like, drop a sub. Till next time, peace.